guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nicole and I make bookish content. Today I'm going to be talking about my very unrealistic TBR for the month of March. I have a lot of books on my TBR, guys. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I have 16 books on my TBR. Is that realistic for me? Probably not, but we're just gonna go with it. I've got a purpose this month and I just need to accomplish my reading goals. I also just realized I forgot about a couple books. So first off, I'd like to announce that my Discord will finally be posted in my description box. I actually completely forgot to put it in the info last video. So if you guys still want to be my friend and join it, then I'm gonna leave it in the description box down below. Second thing I wanted to mention is I'm participating in a couple of really exciting readathons. The first readathon I'm participating in is the card readathon that goes from late February to March 6th. It's hosted by Mary Reads as well as a couple other awesome booktubers and it's kind of like a bingo board where you pick a team and it's based off the Disney Cars movie which is super awesome and fun. I'm also going to be participating in the Pixie Hollow Marathon. So many awesome booktubers are hosting this one so I'm not even going to try naming everybody but I'm going to leave the description down below if you guys are like me and you grew up loving Pixie Hollow, Tinkerbell, and all those kind of cool 3D pop-up books with all the fairy houses in them. I am stoked. So now that I've told you the readathons I'm going to be participating in, let's just get started and start talking about the books. Okay, so the first book on my March TBR is Pretty Little Wife by Darby Kane. I actually read this already so far in the month, and this is a thriller about a wife who kills her husband and basically realizes that his body is nowhere to be found. So she's like, well shoot, I was pretty sure I killed him, but then where is he? I'm not gonna say anything else besides that, but it's definitely a domestic thriller and there are a lot of unexpected turns along the way which made it even more of a roller coaster ride. I'm actually buddy reading this with Riveting Reads, so I'm excited to see what she thinks. The second book that I'm going to be reading in the month of March is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I actually started this when I did reading sprints on Riveting Reads channel yesterday and it's a historical fiction book that takes place in World War II, war-torn France, and it's about two sisters and I think their journey in survival as well as solidifying the relationship between them. The cover is beautiful, I love historical fiction, and I'm really excited to be reading this with Kristen's Corner because I know she's such a Kristen Hannah stan and I'm excited to get my heart broken because I'm only 40 pages in and I already know there's gonna be a lot of tears along the way. The next book that I'd like to read in the month of March is Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman and this is a dystopian book that takes place in a society or world setting where death has been eradicated and scythes are humans who are essentially given the task to kill people in order to maintain population control. I just felt like the first book was so outstanding and I'm really nervous and excited to read the sequel because Mara Reads had read the first book with me and I remember seeing her thoughts the second and third book and I'm a little worried but I'm gonna go into it with an open mind mind. Hopefully I'll end up enjoying it. The next book that I like to read in the month of March is The Midnight Library by Matt Haig and I've heard so much about this talked on booktube, bookstagram, book talk, and this is a contemporary with magical realism about a woman named Nora Seed. She's basically kind of hating and regretting her life until she stumbles upon this library where each book has an alternate reality, kind of with every different decision that she made throughout her life, how things would have been different. And I think it's going to be a very reflective book, kind of showing that all the heartache and mistakes that we've made throughout our lives are bringing us closer to becoming the person that we are today. Okay, I haven't even read the book, I, I can't tell that, but um, that's what I'm thinking. I'm actually going to be buddy reading this with my sister, so I'm really, really excited to be able to FaceTime and talk to her about this because I feel like she's definitely going to enjoy this as much as I will. So the next two books that I'd like to read in the month of March are Six of Crows as well as Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo. As you guys all know, the Shadow and Bone Netflix show is coming out on April 23rd. I I'm so excited guys. Like, I don't think you understand the hype. I I literally get chills on my arms. My hair is like standing up every time I watch the trailer and I shoved it in my boyfriend's face and I was like, look at 
how good it looks. And he was like, yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm trying to get him to reach out on Bone before it airs. But um, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom are a separate duology that take place in the same Grisha verse, where basically a group of misfits who are trying to pull off a heist. So I loved Ocean's Eleven, and I don't know if this is going to be anything like it, but Ocean's Eleven meets Shadow and Bone, I think yes. I'm really excited to be reading this and get invested in all the characters because I've seen them in the trailer and I've heard a lot about this, but I think it's going to be really fun. The next book that I would like to read in the month of March is The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock by Imogen Hermes Gowar. This is basically a historical fiction that takes place in 1785 and this man named Jonah owns trading vessels and one day he's notified by the captain of one of his trading vessels that a mermaid has been discovered and so rumors start to spread and all this stuff begins happening. So we're gonna see where this goes. I really don't, I know the summary was absolutely horrible, I'm sorry, but I don't really know much about this and honestly with books I like to go into it kind of not knowing much because I'm always surprised, but I'm reading this with my best friend Diana and yeah. The next four books that I'm going to be reading for sure, I'm not going to mention what I'm going to be reading them for, but the first book I'm going to be reading is Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. This is a romance book, which is cool because if you guys have watched my New Year's book tag, I do want to start reading more romance books, so that'll be exciting. The next book is The Scent Keeper by Erica Bauermeister, and it's about this girl who lives in a remote island with her father, and he teaches her about the natural world through senses and he has these weird scents that are sorting glass bottles but he won't really talk about them and I think this is going to be a family drama maybe. Also it was on Reese's book club for either last year or the year before and one of my resolutions of all time bucket list goals is to read all the books on her book club list so I'm excited to be reading this. The next book that I like to read in the month of March is The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayliss and I know that it's not December, Nicole, but I can appreciate a winter romance anytime. I think every day in December she goes on a date with a different guy, which sounds super fun. I've definitely heard mixed reviews about this book, and I don't really have a lot of opinions when it comes to romance because I really haven't delved enough into there, but I'm excited to be reading another romance book this month because I read Zero in February, the month of love. The fourth book I'm going to be reading is The Paper Magician by Charlie N. Holmberg. And this kind of reminds me of Umbrella Academy, just this kind of cover. Does anyone feel the same way? Just me? Okay. This is about a girl named Keani Twill who arrives at a cottage of magician with a broken heart and she's super smart, graduated top of her class, and she's assigned an apprenticeship in paper magic despite her dreams of bespelling metal. And once she's bonded to paper, that will be her only magic forever, so it sounds like she's not getting assigned to pursue the magic that she really wants to learn. I'm really excited to be reading these four books for the vlog and I'm really hoping that I'm going to like them. The next book that I'm going to be reading in the month of March is Infinite Country by Patricia Engel. Okay, so this is about a girl named Talia who is being held at a correctional facility for adolescent girls in the forested mountains of Colombia after committing an impulsive act of violence that may or may not have been warranted. She urgently needs to get out and get back home to Bogota where her father and a plane ticket to the United States are waiting for her. If she misses her flight, she might also miss her chance to finally be reunited with her family in the north. And so this book is about a family who occupies two different countries, two different worlds, and it focuses on her parents and how they fell in love and their adventures as well as the kids. So I think this will be really interesting. I could tell that it's probably going to tug at my heartstrings. This is Reese's book club pick for this month and I'm doing a thing where I'm reading Reese's book club picks in 2021 with my boyfriend's mom which I think is really fun and we both agree that this month's book sounds really moving and really interesting. The next book that I'm going to be reading in the month of March is The Sanatorium. This is by Sarah Purse and this kind of reminds me a bit of One by One by Ruth Ware so it'd be really interesting to kind of even make a video, you know, comparing and contrasting these two books because they both have isolated kind of 
building retreat where it snows and then one by one people start dying. Initially I wasn't as tempted to be reading Reese's book club pick for February because I was a little unsure if the summary was too similar but I've heard really good reviews about it and I'm sure it's going to be completely different so I'm really excited to be reading that. My, my voice is like tired. Oh. So the next book I'm going to be reading in the month of March is Shatter Me by Taher A. Mothi. This book series is about a girl who has a cursed power where whoever she touches instantly dies. Like, I, it reminds me of Rey from X-Men. If you guys know, you know. I'm reading this with my friend Lucia who lives in New York and I think that it's gonna be really good and interesting. She actually already read most of it and she said that it's very much a page turner and she thinks I'm gonna like it. So I'm super excited to be reading that and hopefully I'm going to love it. So the next book that I'd like to read in March is The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg and I'm really excited to be buddy reading this with Noelle Seven Pages. This is basically a dystopian type science fiction book about a place called The Kingdom that's like an amusement park that has these beautiful princess robots that make your dreams come true until one day one of these beautiful princesses robots is charged with killing a man. She claims to love him and so I think they access her memories or something like that and we see if artificial intelligence aka robots can actually have feelings for someone or if they are just programmed to be emotionless essentially. This just sounds really interesting. I'm sure you guys can see but the cover art is absolutely stunning. It's so captivating and I can tell that this is a very like Westworld kind of different idea that I really haven't read or watched before. So I think that it's going to be really fun, slightly thrilling to see what the outcome is in the book. Um, finally, the last book that I'd like to read in the month of March is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. This cover is absolutely stunning. I love the Asian representation and I'm just so excited to read this book. I've heard so many good things about it. It's a Romeo and Juliet loosely inspired retelling which just sounds so cool. So I'm going to be buddy reading this with Christine from Rumi's Digest and I'm so excited. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. So as you guys can see I have so many books on my TBR this month. I will accept all the good vibes you guys are sending my way because I definitely need some of that positivity going into this reading month, but I do also have a really packed month. I'm actually doing a small like getaway road trip with my boyfriend in a few days, so I gotta like pre-film before that. And I'm going to visit my best friend in El Paso. We're gonna drive there and just spend a couple days at her house, which will be so nice and I haven't seen her in so long. I'm thinking of definitely making a vlog for that. I don't know if it's gonna be a bookish vlog, so it might be on my other channel, which is Nicole Lee Jean. If you guys haven't followed that and you guys are into watching shopping hauls or travel vlogs then definitely go hit the subscribe button over there it honestly mean a lot but yeah thank you guys so much for watching my video if you guys aren't already please hit the subscribe button or like button i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye